guys, so I have a little bit of a show and tell today. This is actually for these black ZZ plants. Now, you'll probably recognize these because we did a houseplant home tour with Sonder in his old apartment. Black ZZ, ZZ plants. plants? Yes. You were like, oh, those are really one of a kind. And they were like 10 to 15 bucks or something. And you, I got one and then you're like, oh, I gotta get a second one. <laughs> Yeah, because like the table is so long, yeah. I needed to have another one over there. Um, and yeah, I like them. You know, they're easy to care for, so why not? And then what I noticed on this one is that, there's a lot of spider webs, but there's new growth here. New growth. And the new growth looks green, so I guess it turns darker as it ages. It does. And then there's also new Ooh, growth over one. here. Yeah, so there's two of them. And um, these are still in their nursery pot, and it came with this white pot, which, yeah, I don't really like, but. Probably take the sticker off. It's fine. It works yeah. with my uh, my apartment and some of the furniture that I have here, so. Yeah, you're more like neutral tone guy. Yeah, right it's here. fine. And these were some of his. So I'm, I actually don't even know how much these have grown because so we'll have to like compare notes, but these have been sitting on this table for a while. That's kind of like part of the decoration, but they were like supermarket plants and they came in these, you know, they're fine, but these like white, I don't even know what they're made out of. Maybe they're glass. <laughs> I don't really know, but I don't really love the look of them. Um, they're a bit too like modern and it'd probably be fine if this place was like white, but it has a little bit more of a rustic feel. And I have been looking for the perfect planter for these for quite some time now. And you know, it has to be big enough because they're kind of outgrowing their, their pot. Um, if you could see this one is probably better. You see some of the tubers that are actually coming up here in the, the planter pot and you know, they, they, could, they could grow in these for quite some time. I mean, ZZ plants are pretty happy being root bound, but I really did want to find the perfect planter and you're staring at some of them. I mean, these are gorgeous pieces of art right there. This I got from a crafter out of Israel. Um, I might get her name wrong, but it's clay by Dana. And these are exquisite. I mean, they look like the ZZ plant, the same color of the ZZ plant. So my idea was to just go with a monotone color palette, feel as if like the ZZ plant is just breaking out of the earth. And I'm going to be using just some of a Espoma organic cactus mix for a succulent plant. So I'll need a little bit more uh, soil for that. And then I'm going to top it off with this black lava stone. So basically this will just be like the top dressing and it'll just be black on black on black. I think it's gonna look stunning. And part of the reason is because if you look behind me, there's a lot of wood behind here, but when we do the renovation, we're actually gonna be bringing some stone in, probably like a slate, so it's kind of a black color. So this is in preparation for, you know, dressing up this place and tying it all together. So without further ado, I'm gonna take these out and see what they look like. This is a little mallard feather. There used to be a, a mallard duck that used to come to the bird feeder that Sunder had. So we save, we often save this feathers. We have a bunch of uh, wing feathers in here from Tutu, <laughs> the little diamond dove. So we kind of stick those into the, the planter pots. We'll put those back in. These were uh, such good prices. It was still when the black ZZ pl plant was still a little hard to come by. And then the supermarket started to sell them for I think it was like $15.99. Okay, so here you could see that there's, this is kind of in need of a new uh, planter because as you can see here, the root is coming out. So let me just, okay. All right, look at that. It's like a nice root system. It's mainly peat. I'm just gonna break off some of the soil into here so we can see what's going on. I dusted these the other day in preparation for the, this video, by the way. It was actually, these were quite dusty. It's a good way to, I just took a white, uh, wet, damp cloth and, and used that. But look, the, the, 
very tuberous roots. You can see the tubers coming out of right here. If you wanted to divide these, now's the time to do it. You see where the tubers are and take the different tubers off from one another, but I'm gonna keep these in a clump. They look that good. So imagine this, they're gonna be coming out like that. And I mean, look at the color, it's just perfect. So took a while to get these planters because I had some traveling to do, but it was so worth the wait. These are gonna look so good. I don't know about you, but I think when you start to really get into plants, you really look at the planters as like another piece of furniture or home decor. It could really make or break or accentuate the plant. I'm just adding some of this nice light airy mix. I added a little bit more perlite as well, just for some more drainage. And I should say that these do have drainage holes. So you can see just like there. Um, this is not like a cash poe as they're called, so a decorative planter. Like this white one, this white one doesn't have any drainage holes. It has like a, and that's considered a cash poe. That's what they're called. And so here we go. All right, I'm just gonna add some more of this around. I'll make quite a mess here. Now I feel like the plant could really spread out in this pot because it's wide enough. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for, yeah, the next size up, but also something a little wider at the top and something that could really full, uh, fill out the, the area. I've seen ZZ plants. We just recently did a botanic garden tour and I've seen ZZ plants in very tiny pots. You may remember also the one that I took of uh, my friend Tara's ZZ plant and repotted that out with Alan and that was in a real, <laughs> real tight pot for the size it was. Let me use the spoon now, just get around the edges. This is one of my favorite kitchen utensils, <laughs> is the spoon. I think it's so handy, especially when you're working with smaller pots. I mean, this is a, a pretty sizable pot, but you know, you could get into two inch pots and even smaller. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now, I wanna leave a little bit of space on top because we want to put some of that beautiful black lava stone on top. And again, it's just the idea that this looks like it's coming out of the earth. So let's just do that. You may be wondering whether you could put like the black lava stones throughout the whole plant. And it, it wasn't really growing in that medium, so I would say you could probably integrate it and incorporate it into the, the mix that I had, but I wouldn't put it completely in stone. I don't even mind a little bit of the tuber showing. I think that's quite beautiful when you see some of the, the tuber of the ZZ plant showing. All right, I'm gonna give this plant a little water, so excuse me, I'm gonna get my... Uh, Watering can. Black watering can as well. <laughs> it's kind of perfect for this moment. I'm just gonna water all the way around and that's just gonna help affix the roots into this planter. ZZ plants don't need a lot of water. It's actually, they're one of the easiest plants I would recommend. I mean, look at that. That is just exquisite. I mean, that might be one of my favorite plant planter combinations. So that's that one. Let's do the second one. Okay. Just the rest of this. in. I'm 
Let's see how these roots are of this plant. Oh yeah, look at that. This one even has a lot more of their roots coming out. And again, this cash po has absolutely zero drainage hole, so the water will sit in here if you don't remove it, and the roots will grow down towards where the water is. Just, that's a little harder to take out. Looks like I'm gonna be doing some vacuum cleaning after this. Okay, yeah, so this one, actually the soil looks a lot different in this one, doesn't it? This one has a lot more perlite in it compared to the other one. So that's just interesting to note. And I'm gonna stick that right in here. This one has a slightly different growth structure than this one. This one feels a little bit more full. This one has a bit more of a, a tall one and then some small ones off to the side. I have no qualms of using the old soil as well. You know, that's it's used to being in there. I mean, if you had some type of disease or anything that you had noticed, uh, this one looks like it broke off. I'm gonna try to, I'll try to root that one back up. See that? Yeah, so if you noticed any kind of like disease, say you had uh, root mealy bugs or something along those lines, then you might wanna clean off this plant a bit more, but this is a, this is a healthy plant. I mean, these are, these are so resilient. Might even be able to take some of this. Hate to, hate to waste this. Now, leave a little bit of space, and now, for the finishing touch, which is some of this really, really gorgeous black lava stone. Now you could get this in like red and you know, you could look into the different varieties, but I knew exactly what I wanted for this. That's great. And I do have to say that these are a little shallow on the bottom, these uh, saucers. So you just wanna be very mindful when you're actually watering this that you don't water it too much. You can see some of the water's coming out now, but those are pretty shallow. So if you have this on a table that, you know, can't handle water and they'll just have water stains, then, um, then you wanna, wanna be mindful or actually put it on a different um, saucer. You can see that this one, the water is pretty filled. So I will probably end up uh, removing that. Those are nice, right? Oh my gosh, so beautiful. And I'm sure when the sun comes through, they're just gonna look exquisite. Awesome. Well, those are my Black ZZ plants and that is the perfect planter I think I could have gotten for these, especially as we start to renovate and we bring some of that kind of coloration and pattern into here. I think that this is gonna look like just so stellar. It's only gonna get better. And now they have also a little more room to, to grow out. So. That's it, that was the show and tell for today. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next episode. Interested in developing a deeper relationship with the people and plants around you? Then check out my book, How to Make a Plant Love You. Cultivate green space in your home and heart. More information up on my blog at homesteadbrooklyn.com. And if you're looking for more tactical plant care, then you could turn to the Houseplant Masterclass, which is the first online audiovisual course on houseplant cultivation, care, maintenance, and more at houseplantmasterclass.com.